In this episode of Art Talks with Adi Shills, we are going to talk about three ways beginner artists can stop thinking and start doing. So if you're a beginner artist and you really spend a lot of time in your thoughts than actually creating things, then you will definitely find this video helpful. So without taking any more of your time, let's get started. Hey everyone, my name is Shilpa Lalit. I'm an artist, art educator and an entrepreneur along with being a mom of two little kids. And to know more about me, the online painting workshops that I take and the brushes that I'm using, you can visit my website www.artishills.com. Now before I talk to you about the three ways beginner artists can stop thinking and start doing, let me share a little bit about the painting that we are creating right now over here. This painting of a beautiful Buddha emerging from a flower. The title of this painting is The Light of Giving. Thousands of candles can be lighted by a single candle. Similarly, happiness, love, gratitude, value, resources and many more things never ever decrease by sharing. You believe it or not, that's true. The more you share, the more they grow. And you know what? One of the best feelings in the world is giving. The positive energy is contagious. With just one act of kindness, you can inspire others to go out and plant seeds of happiness through giving too. This is my small message through this painting where the Buddha is filled with peace while the emerging flower from around his face represents the power of giving heart. And the gold leaf represents the magical feeling that surrounds us when we are in the place of the giver. And you know, I really believe in this thing that before giving, the mind of the giver is happy. While giving, the mind of the giver is more peaceful. And after we have already given, the mind of the giver is totally uplifted. Don't you think so? If not, then try giving something selflessly to someone and see how it makes you feel. I would love to know in the comment section below what you thought of this painting. And now without taking any more of your time, let's talk about the topic of the day where I am excited to share with you three ways beginner artists can just stop being in those thoughts and actually start working or creating. So the very first thing is the mindset. No matter what level you are, believe you will improve with your work. So, you know, the big thing that just stops us from taking the action or working on the art that we want to work or just creating what we want to create is the self-doubt, the, you know, belief that what if we go wrong? What if we are not able to do that? What if our work is just taking us somewhere or is just useless or, you know, some, some of these weird negative feelings in our head right so mindset really plays a big role if you believe that no matter what level you are on you will improve with your work and if you work with that intention if you think with that intention then you would definitely would want to work you will yourself push yourself to work then spending a lot of time in just thinking so change that mindset and the game will totally change and the second really 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 important thing it is very important for me also personally and that thing is keep your workspace ready not only as a beginner artist but as a really professional artist as well or as an artist who regularly works on what they want to work if they don't have one dedicated space that where they can you know just go and create and call that space their own it is very very difficult to motivate yourself to just get out of those thoughts and start creating and you know that space doesn't really have to be a studio that can be just one corner on your kitchen table or that can be just one corner on your in your drawing room or you know some place in your house that is totally occupied but you can still have that one corner for yourself that is enough where you can just keep your sketchbook ready where you can just keep your paints ready Ready, where you can just you know have a little pouch of some pencils some you know art supplies that you really love just you know when the things are ready it just motivates you to just stop thinking a lot and just start creating you know most of my life and even right now i have had just one table in my bedroom i create all these paintings from my bedroom from that table till today i have never had an art studio i have tried to have 
but i've never really really had the bedroom has always been my studio and nowadays you know i have a reasonably you know good size table but for many many years i just had a small table and at one point i didn't even have a table i was just i used to just sit on the floor in my drawing room and that was it even that floor was my dedicated space and that just encouraged me to stop thinking and just start creating so i would love to know in the comment section below which space you think you can create for yourself in your house your kitchen drawing room where are you going to create that space for you or where you already have your space let me know in the comment section below and the third thing is to get you out of those thoughts and start creating is find some ideas make a list of ideas or find a teacher who you can follow and who you can learn from it can be paid or unpaid you're just following some tutorials on youtube even that is totally fine or you you know get some workshops that you want to work on as a beginner artist or get some workshops that you want to learn from as a beginner artist you know surrounding yourself with the ideas and with the teachers or you know with the content that you want to be creating that will really motivate you to get out of that mind block and overthinking and actually start creating your work because you know the presence of those ideas the presence of that teacher that guidance that will really motivate you and encourage you to get started so yeah those were my three ways as a beginner artist you can just stop thinking and start creating and if you found those ways helpful let me know in the comment section below and i would also love to know which point was your favorite the mindset the keep your workspace ready or have ideas or some teacher that you surround yourself with and that will help you get started which was your favorite point the most amazing answers or in detail answers i would love to share on my instagram stories and tag you with that as well my instagram handle you can find on the screen and i will also leave that in the description box below so yeah that is it for today if you would like to learn many of my paintings then do check out various workshops at artisans art academy to try your very first workshop with artisans art academy i will drop a 15% off coupon code in the description box below and you can also find the amazing brushes that i'm using to paint this painting at www.additionals.com so i would like to take your leave over here before i go please don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit that bell icon so that you never miss any new video on this channel and if you like my work and what i do if you would like to support that then please share this video on your social media in your stories facebook or on your whatsapp groups that will really mean a lot and i will truly be thankful for that So with that being said I will see you next time till then bye and happy creating bye